what's up everybody and welcome back so today in this video uh, we are going to see how, what the object pooling is and how we can use object pooling to uh, optimize our game performance so first let's uh, see what the object pooling is and then we will come back to this game to uh, see the object pooling in practical in practice so before proceeding to the video i would like to thanks to our uh, sponsor here schematical and uh, you can uh, definitely uh, check out his videos about uh, a star algorithm and uh, other machine learning and gaming ai okay so let's uh, visualize the object pooling by using this uh, diagram so normally what we would do is uh, so let's say you are creating a shooting game and you want to you know uh, create bullet hole effects when you shoot so uh, right here if you see if i shoot we can see the paint splatter at hit point okay so what we will do is we will you know whenever we hit something we will instantiate a particle or uh, this uh, decal or splatter at a runtime we will instantiate it and then after some time we will destroy it now uh, creating an object and then destroying will take a lot of memory and it will slow down your game performance so if you are shooting you know 10 or 20 fires uh, per second then uh, creating 20 objects and then deleting and destroying them will take a lot of resources so to fix that problem and to uh, run our game smoothly we will use the object pooling so uh, right here this is the uh, journal diagram that what we will do whenever we you know in we create an object and after some time we will destroy this object now in case of object pooling what we will do is in the start we will create a pool which will contain our uh, limited number of objects so uh, then what we will do is we will uh, take the object from the pool so we don't have to instantiate it at runtime and then after some time instead of destroying we will uh, reuse this now this will you know uh, save a lot of memory for you and uh, a lot of resources and uh, will minimize the lag now let's uh, run our game and see how we can use in our scenario now if you want to uh, create this game that you can see i have a udemy course on udemy about this uh, multiplayer third person shooter game uh, the link will be in the description you can also uh, check it out so let me <coughs> start this so as you can see uh, right here i am shooting and after some time this object will go away okay so let's see what we are doing here so in the resources i have this uh, splatter object which is uh, just this uh, red splatter that you see on the screen now let's see in the script what we are doing so here is my pool manager class which is uh, singleton so to make it singleton you just have to type the public static and whatever the name of class is and then a reference variable for it and uh, if you don't know how to create single you can watch my uh, video on the singleton pattern okay so uh, in the start of the game what we are going to do is we are going to you know uh, create a loop from zero to pool count so let's say i want 50 objects in our object pool okay so here is this pool count this will uh, you know take how many objects you want so if the pool count is 50 we will loop through from 0 to 49 and we will create instantiate actually a decal prefab so decal prefab is the red splatter that you see okay we will instantiate it and then we will 
क्रिएट अ लिस्ट सो बेसिकली दिस ऑब्जेक्ट पूल विल बी अ लिस्ट ऑफ गेम ऑब्जेक्ट्स ओके वी विल क्रिएट द डेकॉल वी विल एड इट इन द डेकॉल लिस्ट सो दिस इज एक्चुअली नॉट अ डी कॉल बट वी विल यूज द नेम डी कॉल हेयर एंड देन वी विल सेट द पेरेंट टू दिस डॉट ट्रांसफॉर्म नाउ वट दिस विल डू इज let me play the game so right here you can see that we have this pool manager and pool manager game object and on that game object we have our pool manager script and in the start we are instantiating the uh, creating the 50 uh, game game objects which you can see in this decal list so the size is 50 and we have 50 splatters now and all of them are right now disabled so you can see that by setting the parent so the here is our new uh, decal and we are setting its parent to this dot transform so this dot transform mean whatever game object this script is on so because this pool manager script is on this pool manager so this pool manager will be a parent of all the splatter so by this way we can you know keep our hierarchy clean and all of them are disabled so here we are disabling it so uh, here we have our you know object pool ready so uh, this decal prefab is a reference to whatever game object you want in your object pool okay so let's see how to uh, use this pool man pool manager or object pool so i am going back to my uh, player script and in here this is the function whenever we hit something we will call this function okay whenever we fire this function will be called so what we are going to do is we are going to loop through our pool manager dot decal list so decal list will be 50 so it will contain 50 objects so the count will be 50 from 0 to 49 and then we will check if the decal list so if that decal list is active in hierarchy equals to false so if it is not active so right now you can see that all of them are disabled so none of them is active so we will find the uh, disabled splatter and we will enable it so let's say at this point right here if we shoot we will find disabled objects and we will change their position to that hit point and make them enable and after some time again make it disabled okay so if the active in hierarchy it will uh, you know uh, let us know that if that object is enabled or disabled if it is false means if the object is disabled we are going to make it enabled so set active will be set to true and then we will change its position to hit dot point so uh, if you are using the ray cast variable you can pass the ray cast hit variable to this function and then we can take the hit dot point okay so now we have make this object uh, enabled and we have set it the position to hit point now then what we are going to do is we are going to set its rotation or whatever you want to do uh, do that now there might be a case that we may run out of these clones so let's say there is a scenario that all of them are enabled so then when this core code will execute because all of them are enabled so this condition will never be so in that case only in that case what we are going to do is we are going to create a new splatter at run time only if none of them is available okay then we will say if i is equal to pool manager dot pool dot decal list dot count dot count minus 1 so let's say we already have uh, 50 and we will again create you know 49 so this will become like uh, 
game object so our pool will contain maximum 49 uh, 97 game objects no more than that okay so in case all of them are active then what we are going to do is we will be creating new objects at <coughs> at runtime or you can skip this code and maybe increase your uh, pool size to 97 at the start okay so we will create a new t call prefab we will set the we will do the same thing that we have done in our pool manager in the start okay so we will do the same thing uh, right here we will create a new we will set its parent we will make it uh, you know disabled and we will add this to our decal list okay so that's it and uh, let's see that one more time so let's see let's test this condition uh, right here so right now in the pool manager you can see right here the size of our pool is 50 so and all of them are disabled so when I shoot so now you can see our size is increasing because we we are shooting at the rate of I think uh, 9 to 10 splatter per second so when it runs out and uh, f cannot find the uh, disabled objects it will create new so right now our size is set to 62 so, to 62. so if we again shoot now you can see it is 69 So let's now uh, we have another script called bullet deactivator which will be on our splatter so as you can see that we are uh, you know uh, making them enabled but we are not making this splatter disabled after some time so in this code we are make the we are setting the set active to false in the start and then in the player when we are uh, you know using them we are not setting them to false uh, right here so for that we will have uh, another bullet deactivator script which will be on splatter clone so you can see bullet deactivator so it is just a uh, two line what this is going to do is in the on enabled so whenever this bullet or this splatter is going to be enabled like that this function will be executed and in here we are going to invoke the disable function after three seconds so after three seconds this disable function will be executed and it is going to disable this game object again by using we can use this dot game object dot set active to false after three seconds you can uh, maybe uh, increase and decrease this to let's say five seconds okay so uh, that's it for this video guys and uh, check out the links i posted in the description and uh, see you in the next video